hi welcome back to my channel today we are unboxing the big hitters of the beauty boxes that would be birch box boxy charm and ipsy now i did something i didn't think i was going to do and that was upgrade my ipsy to the uh, glam box whatever they call it um, basically because I didn't want to try to figure out the cost of the samples anymore and if Birchbox did that then I would probably do the same thing but instead they charge you a little bit more and just give you more samples so yeah so my beauty boxes for every month generally comes out later than everybody else's because I like to do a five-day trial of the products in each of the boxes and then at the end of the video I come back and let you know my thoughts on the products in each of the boxes. So we are going to go ahead and get started with the birch box. The very first thing we pull out of the birch box is the theme for, theme for this month and on the other side it has a list of the products and the price of the products inside the box. Um, they generally list the full size and I have to try to figure out the, the sample size cost, which again, I'm terrible at, but I try so you can get an idea of what the actual, um, retail value is of the box. Okay. The very first product we pull out is Living Proof Perfect Hair Day PhD 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This multitasking styler does it all. Volumizes, adds softness, blocks UV rays, safeguards color, and protects from heat. Comb a nickel-sized amount through damp hair and blow dry. So I do like um, blow dry products and stuff like that. Even though I don't normally blow dry my hair, it still kind of helps keep your hair from getting frizzy. It smells good. It smells like a salon. I, I don't know how else to describe the scent. It just smells like that clean salon smell that you usually smell. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So we'll move on. Next we have Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes Perfume. Okay, so the full size value of this is $135. So I will definitely figure out what the actual price of this is. Um, it says, inspired by California desert and ocean, this vanilla scent isn't too sweet. You'll pick up on notes of vanilla and orchid blend with sea salt, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Okay, so I'm going to spray it. It smells good. I don't know if it's $135 good, but it smells good. Next we have Pearlice Coconut Oil and Orange Blossom Silky Body Butter. All right. This orange blossom scented body butter won't just moisturize your skin, it will make it look more youthful. It also improves firmness, elasticity, and supplefulness. Now those are all things I can get behind, but as far as well, I, you know what, honestly, I can't smell it because of this perfume. Okay, now I smell it. It does smell pretty good. Almost smells like a creamsicle or something, so. Next, we have Comfort Zone Essential Face Wash. This creamy face wash completely removes makeup while restoring your skin's natural glow. It also contains betaine. Which keeps skin balanced and hydrated in extreme environments. So another um, hydrating thing. So of course I love that. Let's see. Again, I can't smell anything but that perfume. So maybe maybe it is worth the price because I smell it. It's not like overpowering, but I smell it. But let me see this. I I can't tell. I'll tell you after I try it for a week. So. Yeah. Next we have Model Co Lip Plumper Hydra Lip Therapy. Get visibly fuller lips with this clear plumping gloss made with hydrolonic acid. Apply to lips whenever you need a natural looking boost. So that is this. Let's see if it's tinted or anything. I do like this brand in general. Okay, so it is clear. Let's see on the skin. 
okay it's just a nice shiny gloss I don't know if you can see that right there but it is pretty I do like that so that is nice last item in the box we have Amica Bushwick Beach no salt wave spray the spray gives you loose beachy texture without the salt meaning no dried out waves mist through damp or dry hair scrounching or twisting sections then air dry or blow dry so considering i like blow dry or don't blow dry this might be a good thing for me um i i really do like this brand i love their purple um shampoos and conditioner and their um, hair mask i use it quite a bit so i have not tried anything like this from them before so i am interested to see how well this does in my hair all right the very first thing we pull out of boxycharm is the card that shows you the theme which says totally boxycharm and on the other side it has all the wonderful products with the price and a little description the very first thing we pull out of the boxycharm box is becca hydra mist and refresh powder this weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth and visible finish formulated with 50 percent water and glycerin this powder creates a mist like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish and a comfortable feel I'm actually pretty excited about that. I've heard this actually um, helps with hydrate, hydrating, moisturizing, and all that. I'm going to put a little bit of this powder on my skin. And it does feel really nice and soft and smooth. You can't really see it on my hand, so there's really not much to show you. But it does feel very nice. I like the packaging. I like the seal. And I'm actually really excited to use this. Uh, the color is... Believe it or not, it's, look at that, it's, it's like my skin, but not red. The next item out of the box is Tarte Big Ego Mascara, an ultra black vegan mascara that fits your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter for up to 16 hours. Okay, so there's that. I'm kind of loving this hot pink. Um, there's really not much I can say about it until I try it. Um, I mean, it's black. I've seen similar wands, but, you know, it, it could be everything that I want in a mascara. We'll see. Um, it's showing this great picture of eyelashes here that I think are awesome, but we'll see if it actually does that. All right, next we have Ace Beauty Gl Glimmer Shadow Duo. High pigmented soft shadow with a creamy texture, especially, especially designed for the ultimate color payoff. These shadows provide bold color in one swipe without fallout, creasing, or fading. And of course, we will be putting that to the test. But look at that color, it's really pretty. You can't really see it on camera, but it is super sparkly. Oh, and the colors that I got here. Um, this one is cotton candy and this one is iced latte so all right the next thing we have is steve laurent lip liner reshape resize and redefine your pound this lip pencil is total magic it smooths over your lip line for a seamless and flawless finish completely waterproof so no transferring or bleeding all day long, lasts up to seven hours. Okay, so another brown lip color. Okay, y'all know how I feel about these shades of brown. I kind of, it's like, I don't know, the 90s are back with poop colored lips. I don't know. But anyways, I think this could be good with like a nude lip color. I think that could be nice, but still, just makes me think of some of those awful shades from the 90s with the browns but it may be okay maybe I just need to play with it with the right color of nude I don't know but we'll still play with it regardless and see how it goes last thing in the boxy charm is wonder glow ahead illuminating oil this multitasking beauty 
elixir instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin, revealing a bouncy, youthful co complexion no matter what skin type you have. The lightweight, powerful formula nourishes and primes the skin and helps to restore skin's moisture barrier while providing a youthful glow. The spill-proof dropper allows you to use it in one drop at a time. Okay, so there's that. Um, I do use face oils, so I'm not opposed to getting one. Um, but as far as how well do I think this is going to do, I have no idea. I have no idea what to expect. I've seen people do their try things online with this already, but I don't smell anything, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I will be trying this out and see if how this compares to other oils I've tried. All right, the first thing out of the Ipsy box is the card that tells you what the theme is and inside it shows you what the products that are in the box as well as a description of the products. All right, the first thing out of the Ipsy box is, and this is the Ipsy Glam Plus, was it Glam Bag Plus? but there's no bag, they just call it that. But anyways, first thing out is the Farah Brushes Five Piece Eye Perfect Perfection Set. When beauty lovers create products, you know it's going to be good. This five piece eyeshadow set is designed to seamlessly shade and blend with professional level quality. Completely vegan and cruelty free, each brush can be used with both creams and powders. Okay, so that is these. Excited, of course. And these, I love it when they do this. They um, actually say on the back of here what their intended purpose is for. If you can see that, I don't think you can. Yeah, it's too shiny, it's not coming up. But anyways, they say what they're for. Like this one says large shading. This one says fly wings. This one is mini tapered blending and tapered blending and short shading. So love it when they actually tell you what they're intended for. I'm excited for more brushes, not that I need them, but I still like them. Next we have Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara in Brine. A single swipe of this volum volumizing, lengthening mascara can help make sparse lashes look like extensions. This innovative comb-shaped wand defines, separates, and helps prevent clumping. Featuring an orchid stem cell complex, this formula simulates lash growth. Ooh, I like that. Um, this it has a really nice weight to it. Um, I like, of course I like the color, it kind of matches my shirt. It's a little off, like this is more blue, this is more green. But anyways, back to this. Um, I do like this. It's vegan, cruelty free, paraben and sulfate free. So it has all the things that I usually love in makeup. But um, yeah, so now we're up to two mascaras. Next we have Laura Sanchez Moods Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette. This Colombian makeup artist was Nick's Face 2016 Beauty Vlogger of the Year. And her brand is all about color and self-expression. Case in point, this all-in-one palette with bold cheek and shadow shades can express any mood you're in. So go ahead feel all the feels. Okay, so I'm a little confused about all the intended purpose of this, but that is the shade range. You can see the um, two long ones right here. I think those are highlights. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to play around with it and kind of see. I Next we have Havea 
Hydration Cream Mask. Infused with dead sea water, this mineral rich mask helps brighten and hydrate your skin while drawing out impurities. Does your sun parched skin need a little extra TLC? This rich formula also works overnight to rehydrate. Okay, I do love a good night cream hydration mask. So that actually kind of really excites me. I actually have one that I use pretty regularly, but um, this is different, so let me see. It doesn't have much of a smell, which usually is a good sign to me that it's gonna be gentle and it's not gonna destroy my skin. Why did I open it that way? Anyway, so I'm excited about this and I will be using this for sure quite a bit. I think I broke the cap. All right, the last item in the box is Pure Lease Blue Lotus Essential Daily Moisturizer SPF 30. Finding a daily go-to that hydrates without feeling greasy and protects your skin with SPF is like finding a unicorn. Lucky for us, this fast absorbing formula is infused with white tea, vitamin E, and aloe extracts to help prevent fine lines while shielding your skin from the sun. I am excited about this because I do use these facial moisturizers quite a bit um, with SPF. Um, I'm very white, so the more SPF I can put on my skin to protect it and keep me from burning is just wonderful and I'm gonna keep caking it on. So anyways, now's the part where I go and I try everything out for five days and when I come back, I will have I reviews and ideas on all these products. All right, so it has been five days and I have tried out everything in the boxes and I have opinions. Um, so let's start with the Birch Box, of course. Um, the first thing I have here is the Coconut Orange Blossom Silky Body Butter. Now this was really good. I liked it, used it up. Um, it absorbed really quickly into the skin, so I did really like that. Um, this perfume was the Vanilla Vibes by, who was it by? Juliet has a gun. Okay, so clearly I used it a lot. I really did like it. Am I gonna go off and spend $135 on a fragrance? Probably not because I'm a little cheap in that category. Um, but I did really like it. I did really enjoy it. I think the scent is very nice, very different and refreshing. And so I did like that. Um, I have the Model Co Lip Plumper here. And I did like that as well. Um, still using that. Um, my lips don't necessarily need plumping, even though I am starting to experience bleeding in the edges of my lips, but that's fine, you know. Um, you know, you can't stay young forever. But I did like this, we'll keep using that. Um, then I have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. Um, again, this is another product I love. Texture, everything was fine. Then there's the Comfort Zone Essential Face Wash. This went a lot further than I thought it would. I do like it. It has a nice smell to it. Um, that's pretty much all I can say. I know irritations, no nothing. I really did enjoy this. Still enjoy this. We'll finish this, I promise. And then the last thing is the Amica Brushwick Beach No Salt Wave Spray. I thought I was gonna love this because I really like this brand, but the truth of it is, I don't like to put a lot of products in my hair that make it feel textured, to be honest. I like it soft and flowy, so I didn't really care for this. Like, I don't even like, in all fairness, I don't even like using hairspray. I will use it if I curl my hair and I'm planning on going somewhere and I want it to hold, but overall, I don't like that stiff feeling in my hair. So for me, I didn't like this product that I could have lived without. So in the Birch Box, six products, I gave it five out of six because this one was a no-go. So that that was that one. Um, for the Boxy Charm, I had the Becca Hydra Mist. I actually really, really like this. I thought it was kind of weird and different because when you put it on, it has kind of a wet sensation. Um, I was like 
super real, like wowed by it and told my husband about it, made him put some on his arm so he could feel it. He goes, it doesn't feel wet, it just feels cool. But regardless for me, putting it on my face, it had a um, wet sensation and I liked it and I felt like it got into my skin better. It held in place great, I love it. Uh, the Steve Laurent lip liner, now, um, when on the lips, because I do actually have it on now, it ha has more of a nude look to it, and that that's great. So I actually really like this. This is a lip liner that I will keep using. Uh, now the um, Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Aluminum Face Oil. Now, I have been using this, gonna keep using it, but it's not my favorite face oil. And the reason why is even though it's for all skin types, my skin just tends to be more on the drier side rather than the medium range of dryness. So for me, it just wasn't hydrating enough for my skin. That doesn't mean it's a bad product. It just means that my skin needs something more penetrating. So that's it on that one. Um, now the Big Ego Tarte Mascara. I did like this. I did use this. Um, a lot with with the other mascara I would um, what I liked doing was taking this mascara doing the whole lash because the the tip if you can see that the tip there made it easier for me to get into the inner corners of the eye they separated lengthened it was really pretty and then I would go on the edges on the outside on this and it just kind of made it you know fuller so I did like this one as well um, now these eyeshadows I think are absolutely gorgeous. I have this one on right now, the ice latte at the bottom of my lashes, you can see. Now the problem with cream shadows for me is that even though they claim that they don't crease or anything else, they always do with my eyes. I don't know why, but they do. It, it'll look great for a few hours and then it's over. Um, these were no exception. Do I love them? Yes. Will I use them? Yes. But did they crease for me? They did. You know, that's it. So for me, um, this was a half because it wasn't great for my skin and this was a half because it still creased. But we've got five products here so that would be a four out of five for BoxyCharm for me. So for the last box was the Ipsy. Um, we have these brushes here, and honestly, the brushes are okay. They're not great, they're okay. I felt some of them were a little bit more prickly for my skin, and I don't really like that prickly feeling, but they worked, they're okay. Uh, then there was the mascara, I'm missing something here. Oh, no I'm not, it's all here. So the mascara here, um, I, I just told you, I. I loved it, I used it with the other one, so I don't really feel like there's much more to say about this other than it's awesome. Uh, the hydrating mask, the first day or two I used this, the next day my face was really red. Um, I thought it was irritating my skin, but I kept using it like a genius anyway, and the um, irritation went away, so I'm kind of wondering if it's just the simple fact that my face is always dry and it was just rehydrating and you know, I don't know. But the irritation went away. I did like it, you know, again it says you can use it all night and it's it's good for sensitive skin and allergy tests and all that so it's good to go. Um, but if you have extra sensitive skin like I do, don't be surprised if it does irritate a little bit but in the overall picture you'll be fine. Uh, hopefully you'll be fine I should say because I mean like I said I did have a little irritation but it went away uh, the next thing I have here is the Perlis blue Lotus daily moisturizer with SPF 30 I really like this um, this is probably one of my favorite um, face um, sunscreens that I've used so far and I really really like it so yeah and then this Moods palette, like when I first used this, I, I'm gonna be honest, when, and I did try the brush too. When I first used it, I was a little bit disappointed because the colors didn't pay off the way I expected them to. Like the um, mattes, 
up here, you really had to go into them. They, they were pigmented, but they were like kind of a sheer pigment, if that makes sense. So I had to really dig into it. But then when I got used to how to use the colors in the palette, I did fall in love with it. I did really enjoy it. I still enjoy it. Clearly I have it on today. So I do have to say, I do like this palette. It just took me a little bit to get used to and fall in love with. Um, and I think that is it from the Ipsy one. So for this one, it was good. Loved it, loved it. And these two I'm gonna give halves because the brushes work correctly and the um, mask here did slightly irritate at first. So for five items, it is a four out of five. I think this was another great month and I'm excited to see what next month has in store.